most successful videos are when I do really obscure things. It's also my biggest failures, but I'm going to dig deep on this one. Uh, we're going to do Boys Life Magazine. I was never a Cub Scout or a Boy Scout. And I don't know how I ended up getting a subscription to Boys Life Magazine. Cause I don't ever remember reading an article in this. But I do remember the weird ads for stuff, and I was absolutely fascinated by them when I was a little kid. That's why I'm still got this copy like over 30 years, because flipping back through it, reliving the memories of wanting this weird and obscure crap that they advertised in the back. Look at this stuff. You buy a mini bike kit for $49. Imagine tooling around the neighborhood in a little mini bike. Seemed accessible for $49. Today, that's like $120. And, uh, well, of course, my parents never give me checks to mail away, so never got that. I never got any of this stuff. Live traps. Live seahorses. I was flipping through this thing. I didn't see the one for, you know, live ferrets. I know they used to sell ferrets, and I don't know how you mail a live animal in the mail, but apparently you can. Look how cheap everything is, too. Look, switchblade. Only $1.96. This is the best stuff. How could you not be a popular kid at school with all this stuff, armed with all this? Blood capsules. Icky upset stomach, you can poison everybody, fake dog poop, hand shockers, nasty candy, you can give the girls on the bus the nasty candy, make them puke, oh man, what kind of a, what a, a kid who got this stuff, he must have been like the coolest kid ever, what a jokester, insult book, take on all them bullies, for only 88 cents. Venus fly traps. Here's a good one. Uh, trick playing card. So uh, you can hustle all the kids on the bus. Take all their lunch money. It's well worth the 398. Unbeatable self defense. You might need that if you're hustling all the kids on the bus. You know. Gotta beat up them bullies too. I mean, how did you not... If you bought all this stuff, how did you not be, like, the biggest badass at school? Throw ninja stars at people? Need a transportation when you're a little kid? Here, for $99, build a go-kart. Bolt together kit. Oh, did I dream of that. I dreamed of this probably more than, like, having a Ferrari. But this, you can float on air. Yes. Here is the plans to make your own hovercraft air car. You can ride this air car around your home or school. Imagine going to class to class on this thing. It floats on air, powered by a vacuum cleaner motor. Easy to build. How did I not get this? You can lift 200 pounds. Did anybody ever build one of these? Where is the YouTube video? Here, be a stuntman. Man, I missed out. I could have been a Hollywood stuntman. You are a ninja, an authentic uh, ninja uniform. Really badass knife. Remember, this is a kid's magazine. How could these not be fun? Phony parking tickets. For less than five bucks, you could be two inches taller instantly. Man, I was glad they uh, perfected mutations back in the 80s. Where did it go? Here's one for baseball card sets. Get the whole new 86 top set for only 1875. It's probably worth about $8 now because of eBay. eBay ruined the prices of all baseball cards you were collecting and hoping to save up and be rich by the time you're 40. Uh, I am, and beyond, and no, I'm not rich. There we go, Weight Watchers Camp. Camp for fat kids. Like that movie Heavyweights with Ben Stiller? That was a great movie.
Here's the best stuff. You got a spy pen radio. Pretty sure that did not work. X-ray vision. I've actually got to wear a pair of those. They were fake. More spy cameras. Ventriloquist dummies. That's good. Only two bucks? I'll take five. Realistic badges. Well, it's not the 80s without martial arts, you know, headbands and uh, Hercules wristbands. That's, you know, it's metal. Here's an ad on the inside cover for uh, a model. Monster trucks. I've built a few models in my day and they all look like garbage and never looked that good at all. No 10 year old kid ever made a model that looked that good. Cassettes for a penny. That's one of the things that I, I don't like about uh, streaming music and stuff like that now. Got rid of cool deals like this because you know, I'm a guy, I'm a collector, so I like to collect tapes and stuff too, other than just toys. And look at all these tapes you could have got. I subscribed to this once. Like I'm, I got uh, basically my whole Judas Priest album collection from this. I didn't mind having to buy the extra CDs ever after, but you know I was gonna buy them anyway. Anything even good? Oh, Ghostbusters. Oh, Chartbusters. Roger Daltrey solo album sticks. A lot of Bruce Springsteen. Genesis. I love Genesis. Y and T, they kind of stink. I'll be, they'll be all, you know, I'll be honest there. Rat. I know this popped up in a lot of comics from like the 70s. Uh, earn money selling grit. I have no clue what grit ever was. But uh, apparently if you're a little kid who had some hustle, you can make some money. It wasn't hard to impress people back in the day. Because look, all you had to do was impress your friends is to learn how to juggle by videotape. 1995 back then was a big investment though, so probably better just go be the kid with the smoke bombs and stuff. Alright, here's something I probably should have read back then. How to communicate with your dog. I had a Beagle Barney and he was the most undisciplined dog you ever... He was like basically a wild animal that we had in the house. Basically like having a pet wild raccoon. Should have read this. Probably got to learn how to train them better. Got some sort of comic books in here. Yeah, I probably should have read some of these. Instead of just looking up uh, and fantasizing about throwing stink bombs around my elementary school. Probably would have learned some more stuff. Became a more well-rounded individual. Oh yeah. Some sort of terrifying story about Vietnam in here some for some reason. You know, you're a Boy Scout, and then where do you go next? You go in the Army. Alright, this is me sounding like an old fart, but uh, all these toys are way better than the crap that they got now. Because what do kids play with? Every time I see little kids and their parents out, they're all fighting over they want to play with a stupid tablet. What did we have? We had chimpanzee uh, puppets. That was awesome. We would fantasize about selling all this garbage. Look, this one you, you can get a, a Verbot. That's Verbot right there. But uh, he looks like a knockoff version because Verbot was all white and had some red. I should make a video about him sometime. I have that upstairs. All right, telescopes. Does anybody play with them anymore at all? No, because we all think the Earth is flat now because the world got stupid. Well, there was uh, a Boy's Life magazine without any of the substance of the articles. Basically, uh, reliving what I used to do with them back then. Just looking at the ads. So, there we go.